kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hi guys. Wagwan Wagwan. Welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm going to make steak and potato skillet. I'm telling you, this is going to be super, super delicious. Your families, your friends, everybody are going to enjoy it. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also share it to someone that you know will enjoy it. Now keep it to yourself. Thank you all so much for all the love and your support. I really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned. So in my bowl right here, I've got at least two pounds of my steak and I also have some rosemary, fresh thyme and at least four cloves of my garlic that I finally chopped. Parsley, at least over one tablespoon of my parsley, some oil and these are my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of my black pepper and I also have two teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning two teaspoon of my Cajun seasoning one teaspoon of my onion and salt powder and I also have some parsley right here just a little bit okay yeah so I'm just gonna cut let's cut this smaller one first yeah so this is how I'm gonna cut my steak I put it to my bowl. Just wanna pat your steak, some paper towel. There is no excess water. So now I'm gonna firstly add some of my olive oil, at least over one teaspoon. Then my seasoning. Just gonna mix it till combined. I'm gonna leave back a little bit for my potato. I'm gonna also add some of my Cajun seasoning. So my Cajun seasoning, I add at least over one teaspoon. Just gonna mix it in. Yeah, so that's done. You can leave it to marinate for at least 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna peel my potato and I'm using six potato you can use more if you want to so now I'm just gonna cut my potatoes you wanna cut them really small like this Yeah, so that's done. Put them to my bowl. So as you can see, my pot is now on my stove and my stove is on a medium heat, okay? So what I did, I just added over two tablespoons of my olive oil. You can use any oil. So now I'm gonna add my potatoes. I'm going to add some salt, one teaspoon of my salt and all of my remaining seasoning. I'm going to also add some of my fresh rosemary. Some garlic. I'm going to mix it in. I know I said my stove is on a medium heat, but I'm going to turn it up a little bit more higher because I want my potato to fry. I'm going to fry them until they became nice and brown and soft. 
I'm gonna also add just a little bit of my paprika for color. I'm just gonna off cover it and leave my stove on a medium heat, okay? Because I want the potato to cook all the way through. So just over six minutes. This is what it looks like. Nice and brown. Move it. So as you can see, I add my skillet to my pot. So now I'm gonna add my steak. I add at least two tablespoons of my olive oil. So just gonna fry it for at least three minutes on each side, three to four minutes. I am not gonna add them all at once because I don't want the fat to overfull. I'm just gonna space it out. I'm gonna turn it over. Nice and brown. If they're not so brown, you can just turn them back over. So now that my steak is nice and brown, I'm going to put them to a plate. I'm gonna add my remaining steak. So this is just another steak that I add to my pot because I'm cooking this one for my husband. Just a little bigger piece. Yeah. So guys, this is the skillet that I use to fry my steak. But what I did, I washed it out. Cause there was too many black things at the bottom and I never like it yeah so I just add at least one tablespoon of my olive oil so now I'm gonna add my garlic then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of my butter gonna allow it to melt so now that my butter is melt I'm gonna add at least one tablespoon of my honey yes and this is just gonna give it a nice flavor my parsley so first I'm gonna add my steak absolutely delicious just gonna toss it around now I'm gonna add my potato
I'm going to add my fresh thyme, my rosemary. Just going to leave it for at least three minutes and it is ready to serve. The potato is nice and soft, all because I covered the pot so it was steaming. So guys, it is all finished and I'm telling you, it is cooked to perfection. The potatoes is nice and soft. I'm telling you, I cannot wait for you all to try this recipe. It looks super, super delicious. If I go to a restaurant, I will definitely order this. This is like food prawn. Please do not forget to share this video and also give it a thumbs up, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plate it up and show you guys what it looks like on the plate. So now I'm just plating up my potato first. This recipe right here, it is a must try. I'm going to add the steak right on top look at that so yummy so don't forget to add all that sauce oh my gosh this is so good i hope you all do enjoy this video please if you try this recipe comment below and tell me what it's like okay don't forget also to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive more amazing, delicious recipes like these. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye and do enjoy.